Welcome seventh graders to eighth grade registration. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about our courses that we have available for you to choose from for eighth grade. They include our required full year and trimester courses, our full year and trimester electives. We'll cover a little bit of information about CASEL and how to go about selecting those electives. Next year, you will be taking required full year courses, just like you did this year. Those classes will include Language Arts 8, a math class, American Studies, Science Issues and Applications 2, and PE, which will be every other day, just like it is this year. The math placement that you'll receive will be based off of a traditional progression based on the math course that you had this year. So if you were in math seven this year, you'll be in pre-algebra eight next year. If you were in pre-algebra seven this year, you'll be in algebra. And if you were in algebra this year, next year, you'll be in geometry. These will be entered in for you. You will not select these yourself. Next year, you will have some required trimester courses, which include personal development eight, applied technology, and you might be making up any of those four trimesters of electives that were seventh grade requirements if needed. So that could be art, family consumer science, or music tech. Now we're going to talk about the elective courses. There are some really great elective courses to choose from. And what's nice about being in eighth grade is you have a lot more to choose from. Some of the elective courses, as we said earlier, will meet all year long, while others will only meet one trimester. Students will need to pick a minimum of six trimesters of elective courses, nine if they're taking choir, a maximum of seven trimesters of elective courses uh, if you do not take choir, and a maximum of 10 trimesters of electives if you do take choir. Example one shows you that if you were to choose one art class, one music class, and one world language, you would have seven trimesters of electives. Example two, if you were to choose one art, theater workshop, sewing and clothing, industrial tech, leadership, and volunteer, you would have six trimesters of electives chosen. In example three, the student were to choose choir, world language, orchestra, and writer's workshop, they would have 10 trimesters of electives chosen. Next, we are going to get, discuss some of the full year electives, starting with world languages. So if you, successfully complete a year of French or Spanish in eighth grade, it provides you the opportunity to advance to level two in high school, beginning in ninth grade, if grades meet the high school registration expectations. It also provides you the opportunity to continue through level five in 12th grade. Some other things you can expect in a world language course. Grades that you receive will be on your high school transcript, but not your high school GPA. This is a fast paced curriculum. Assessments will include vocabulary, grammar, reading, writing, speaking, and listening. This course does require work outside of class for homework and individual study. Each chapter, which lasts approximately three to four weeks, consists of 40, approximately 40 vocabulary words, three or four new grammar topics, cultural information, interactive activities through co communications in reading, writing, speaking, and listening. Band and orchestra meets every day or every other day and provides you the opportunity to improve your skills on your instrument and perform with a group. Chorus is very similar to this, but just meets every other day. If you like singing with a group, this would be a really fantastic opportunity for you. You'll experience classical, contemporary, folk, and traditional spirituals. You must participate in concerts to pass this class. The following are our trimester electives. Art elective. This includes drawing and painting, sculpture, and other multimedias. Two and three dimensional multimedia. This course can be repeated and art required is a prerequisite. Industrial tech is an opportunity to learn how to plan and build products from wood and other aspects of working in an industrial field. Keyboarding is an every other day course for just one trimester and can only be taken if you did not take it as a seventh grader. 
In video production, you will learn the basics of television production. In leadership, you get the opportunity to develop leadership skills. In writer's workshop, you'll have time to experiment with different types of writing. Theater or drama workshop will allow you to practice speaking and movement exercises. And in intro to computer science, you will have an introduction to computer science and coding. In Food for Fitness, you'll have an opportunity to learn a little bit about nutrition and how you can couple that with your workouts or your fitness routines. Sewing and clothing is an opportunity to work with sewing and clothing. <laughs> Both of these courses are prerequisites. Both of these courses require FCS required before you can take them. Rock Band 101 gives you an opportunity to use technology to make music. And in volunteer, you have the opportunity to work within a classroom or in an office to help support that area. In fitness and wellness, you'll have the opportunity to be introduced to different types of strength, speed, and agility training. If you would like more information about any of these classes, please be sure to check the Student Program of Studies for a listing and description of these courses. This can be found on the guidance page of the Southeast Junior High website. Please do not choose one of these electives because of a teacher, because often our teachers can change from one year to another, or a friend, because sometimes friendships change or friends change classes. We really want you to be interested in the classes that you choose to take. Be sure to talk to some of the teachers about the electives that they teach as they know lots more information about it and would love to share that information with you. We also want you to know that there is no guarantee that you will get all of the electives chosen. Castle will again be offered for eighth graders here at Southeast next year. This is an opportunity for students to work in a cross-curricular setting amongst language arts, American studies, and science curriculums. This is different from the traditional junior high structure and allows for joint projects within those curricular areas an emphasis on classroom community and collaboration with classmates, and students have more choice and responsibility for their own learning within this CASEL program. To show interest for CASEL this coming year, you will want to fill out the eighth grade CASEL application form. This will be sent to you via email and will also be posted on our website. A couple caveats for you to remember. First off, expressing interest does not guarantee you a spot in the program. Secondly, being in Castle 7 does not guarantee you a spot in the program for next year. Third, there are only 90 spots available. Fourth, if more than 90 students show interest, a lottery system will be used to select participants. And lastly, if you agree to take part in the program, you will not be allowed to opt out once the year has started. Thank you all for your time today as we went through the options for registration. Tomorrow when we join in homeroom, we will go through another screencast that will cover the process for selecting these electives in PowerSchool. And that window for selection of these electives will be open until February 12th.